Welcome to Antenna and Wave Propagation Playlist. Here in this session, I'll be explaining one antenna parameter that is radiation intensity. So what is radiation intensity? So radiation intensity, that is amount of power radiated per unit solid angle. Radiation intensity is amount of power radiated by antenna per unit solid angle. So, radiation intensity is amount of power radiated by antenna per unit solid angle so that is what radiated intensity now as if i want to calculate what will be the unit of it so unit of radiation intensity is watt per T radian. Now how to calculate radiation intensity? So if I have power density, then based on power density when we can calculate radiation intensity. Now how to calculate that? For example, I have antenna over here that is having transmitter here and this antenna is radiating in this direction like this. Now what happens is, here I have a power density, W. Here I have a power density, W. And this distance of this area that is R. So if I have this data, then based on that, I can calculate radiation intensity U and that too by power density into R square. So power density into square of the distance that will result into radiation intensity that is watt per T radian. Now as we know power density that is measured in terms of watt per meter square. So watt per meter square meter square will get cancelled but unit of this radiation intensity that will be watt per T radian. So that is how we calculate radiation intensity. Now here in last session, if you have seen, I have calculated radiation density. So power density that we have calculated W means power density. So that is what we have calculated by electric field and magnetic field. Based on electric field, it is e square by 2 eta. So, if I place that over here in radiation intensity formula, then we can have radiation intensity and now that will be R square E square by 2 eta. Just place that in this formula. So, we can have radiation intensity that is R square E square by Eta. Now when we calculate radiated power based on radiation intensity then what we need to focus about. So based on radiation intensity U we can calculate radiated power. So based on radiation intensity radiated power can be calculated by P radiated that is angle integration of radiated power. So if we do solid angle integration of radiation intensity then we can have a calculation that by radiated power. 
So we can calculate this by having solid angle integration of radiation intensity. So radiated power that is solid angle integration of radiation intensity and based on power density we can calculate that by surface integral of power density. So this is what the difference that one should know like based on power density we should do surface integration to have a radiated power and based on radiation intensity we need to do integration with respect to solid angle. So that we can calculate by theta and phi and this will be sin theta d theta d phi. So this is what solid angle integration. This is what solid angle integration. By that we can have this radiated power by solid angle integration of radiation intensity. And based on power density we need to do surface integration to have radiated power. I will explain these terms by examples in next few sessions. So stay tuned with this channel. We will be finding examples even how to have a calculation of radiated power based on power density as well as based on radiation intensity. Again thank you so much for watching this video. You can suggest videos by writing comments. If I have understanding then definitely I will place videos based on those need which is there with my students. Thank you so much for watching this video.